Hey y'all and welcome back. So sadly, the winter has finally caught up to us. I don't think that we want to admit it, but I think it has. Yes, and the build is on hold for the most part, but we have to get prepped for this winter weather that's coming in. One night it's supposed to dip down to like 15 and 16 and not get above freezing during the day. So we have to really take this seriously and get everything situated because we're not used to that kind of weather down here this far south there's no such thing as salt trucks and things like that for the road so if we get an ice event we're pretty much going to be stuck right here so we got to make sure that everything is situated and we're not stranded in a bag so we got to winterize everything including our buggy because if we're not going to go anywhere of course you're going to be riding around yeah and <laughs> our buggy is our main source of transportation anyway we go everywhere on that thing the first thing that we're going to do in order to get winterized for these next few weeks is work on that. That's right. And no better day to do it than today. We're actually going to park the buggy on our new porch <laughs> to get it out of the weather while we're working on it. And then maybe when this rain starts easing up a little bit, we're going to get all of our water, everything that might freeze taken care of. I think we should just pull the buggy in the house. I mean, it would fit through the door. Yeah, why not? You know, I don't, there's no part of me that likes winter. None. They should have Christmas in July. Do they have that? I've heard that. I've heard that. Hey. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble if that's something you wear. it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Well, they make a cab kit for these buggies, but they're like two grand. I'm that's stupid expensive, but we're going to try something. We're going to try the cheap version. So we got some plastic like you put on a tabletop that's clear, thick, and we're going to try to just cut and design our own just to keep the wind and the rain off of us because you can see like in the seat over here where the water gets into the seat. And that is no fun when you're going to get the mail or whatever it is that you're doing. So we ordered this plastic off Amazon. It was $32.99 a roll. So obviously that's going to save us so much money. If this works. I've never seen it done. I don't think Jim Wayne's ever seen it done. So try her out. There's like a tablecloth in here. I swear. It looks like something that my grandma would have made. I guess that they sent some decor to go on top for your countertop. Jim Wayne, you want to put that on our buggy? I'd rather not. <laughs> what is that? I don't, I don't remember know. seeing that in the pictures. Is that, uh, what do they call that? A doily? A doily? Our floors have no type of cure on them right now. They are just straight concrete. So we're kind of worried about scratching up all this plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and lay a blanket down and then work from there. This 
stuff's really pretty thick. And it might get scratched up with tree limbs and mud and whatever, but we don't have much money tied up into it. So if it'll just get us through the winter, save us a couple grand, we'll be happy with it. We had a bunch of this underlayment left over from whenever we did the roof out here. So what we did was take a piece of this and we held it up to the side of the buggy and we went ahead and traced out the exact shape of how we want this corner to be. So that way we're just gonna cut this off, lay it on top of the plastic, and then we'll be able to have a perfect line of where we want the other plastic to go. I call it perfect or not. <laughs> Shoot for the stars, honey. Which line should I pick? The straight one. There's not one. The right one. There's not one. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever your heart feels is best is what you should pick. Okay, I'm gonna air it to the safe side and I'm gonna give us all we can get. We can always trim it off. That don't look too awful. <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I've learned just now, like today? That we both would have been horrible in arts and crafts. Speak for yourself. Woman, you drew the line. Look how crooked that thing is. That's because you traced it. it I looks, followed the trace. It looks like we dipped a snake in ink and let it slither across this thing. Maybe you did. I just followed the directions. <laughs> Cut out the line. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be pretty close. Fuck it, girl. <laughs> I just really can't get over they sent us this. And it looks like fabric, but it it's plastic. Like a shower curtain thing a majigger a doily yeah look look how pretty we have three of them perfect <laughs> okay okay so Lydia and I have marked every place that we want to put a zip tie in this extremely fancy plastic window that we're putting on our buggy come on man we're gonna have to drill a hole every dot that we have on here to put the zip tie in. Because what we're afraid of, if we try to cut a hole in with a knife or something to put these in, I'm afraid they'll rip in the wind. So, I don't know. They may not, but pretty sure it won't this way.
Every time that we go to get on the buggy, we are gonna have to duck underneath the plastic that we're putting up. So I had the brilliant idea of putting some Velcro and that way we could just like pull it off whenever we want to get in. Well, I found at Walmart in the party section some magnetic tape. I've never used magnetic tape in my life. Have you ever used magnetic tape? No. No? No. no? So we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna try this out first. And then if this doesn't work, we can always replace it with Velcro, but I thought, let's try this first. Also, this was cheaper than Velcro, surprisingly. Hopefully it wasn't cheaper than Velcro, because it doesn't work. <laughs> we're gonna overlap the front plastic to the back plastic, so the wind should just blow right over it. Well, it just didn't seem very sticky. That's because it's magnets. You have to peel this off with the sticky. <laughs> Bird. Okay, while we're thawing out for just a minute, let me show y'all what Jim Wayne did. Round of applause. I wouldn't applaud just yet. <laughs> like everything else I do, it is just temporary. You wanna show? Now keep in mind, we love shop lights. Now it is time to introduce to you the Dining Room Illuminator 1000. Sure, it might look like your standard ordinary shop light held in place by zip ties that's because it's exactly what that is <laughs> but it works really good brightens everything up in here and until we get our light put in it's gonna have to do Well, I guess you can tell we never come in this part of the yard. Somebody's super excited. Look at it. <laughs> he is covered in mud. Oh, he's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks like you're getting washed in the net. 
So we've got a ton of comments talking about when are we going to move this RV? Well, it's got to be extremely dry before we can do that. And let me just give you an example of what we're dealing with. This is the front yard. Now, granted, we have just got some rain, but I mean, before that, you can still make the same impressions in the yard. So, it's gonna have to dry out, long story short. But we're gonna get to that as soon as we can get to it, and we think you're really gonna like that video. You don't wanna tell them how we're gonna do it yet? <laughs> no, no, that's gonna be a surprise. Ruins the fun. They're gonna enjoy it though, I can tell you that. Y'all see him way out there? <laughs> you probably seen those ducks. There was ducks in the pond this morning. One of the things that we have really got to get done that sadly is not going to be winterproof is our PVC pipe sticking straight up out of the ground. That would be perfect for southern Louisiana weather, but... <laughs> As the news says, it's going to be the coldest Christmas that North America has experienced in a couple of decades. But with that being said, we're not just going to wrap this in insulation like people probably do. We're going to do this Cajun country style. First things that we're going to do is going to take this wax paper. Somehow, however you tear it off. Oh, there we go. And the world's cheapest scotch tape. We're going to wrap it around here. Okay. Okay. Well, they should have it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was that easy. I bet they're thinking, what's some morons? Wrapping. <laughs> Putting wax tape on their pipes. <laughs> up. What is that going to do? Now, all you have to do is put this in your oven and bake it 300 degrees for 45 minutes. <laughs> Stay warm all through the winter season. <laughs> Before placing your PVC pipe in the oven, you need to first measure. <laughs> See, it doesn't look good. It's gonna look pretty good. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some tape on the top of this to cover the top of it, make a cap. We're gonna drill holes in through the side and spray foam insulation in around here. So the wax paper will keep the spray foam from attaching to the pipe. And this pipe will allow for a barrier for the expansion of the spray foam to fill in so it's completely encapsulated in insulation. We got this stuff at Home Depot last night and it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's not awful. It's like seven bucks a can. It's a lot cheaper to buy this for seven bucks a can than it is to have to dig up and replace this water line. So <laughs> We got a drill in a drill bit that's just a little bit bigger than the size of this straw.
still winterizing. What do we got going on now? Well, the summer, we had to change the thermostat in the Ranger. Well, we were in a hurry to drive it. So I filled it full of water instead of antifreeze to drain the radiator, get all the water out of it, and fill it full of antifreeze. <sighs> Why do we wait till the last minute? <laughs> and I'm probably gonna get drowned. That wasn't too bad. On the road, headed back to New Orleans Driving in the country, past old timey scene Big birds were singing in the tall willow tree Mighty fine Three words written on the paper bag I miss you was written in a message in black Thrown in a van to thousand miles back A better time So the other day when we moved our scaffolding out of the way that way we could work in the dining room and get all that plastic done for the buggy we discovered something that we had totally forgot about. So a few months ago we had took some avocado seeds, wrapped them up in some paper towels, stuck them in a baggie, and put a little bit of water in there and stuck them in the windowsill. Well, two months later, here we are. We did go ahead and open this up whenever we saw them in the baggie because we were thinking there's no way that those are any good. Well, surprise to us, They are doing spectacular, which is exactly why we put them in the window in the first place, but typically you don't leave them in there for a few months, just a few weeks until the seed starts to break apart and you can see the roots starting to develop. Well, I'll just show y'all on this one. This root has a whole root system with it already. So here's one of them that we'd put in there. Here is the other. Now that is still a piece of paper towel wrapped up in the root, but the roots are just so fragile that we decided that we're just gonna leave it in there because it's not gonna hurt anything. It developed really far compared to the other one, but they're both doing super good. So it is time to finally put them in some pots. They are four inch in size. You don't want something so big that all the soil is soaking up all the water. You want something that fits the size of the plant. So whenever it gets bigger, we are going to have to change it into a bigger pot. But for now, we're just going to use these four inch flow pots. And I really like these because they're made out of ocean plastics that have been recycled. Time to put some pot soil in. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Because mm. I know what it's like to be broke. What it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down